Let's talk about the episode. Let's talk about the episode. So, they got shut down on us. Uh, that was it for us for um, Atlanta. The Corona struck. They had to shut it down. They did give us a bang for our buck. We actually got to see a whole fight break out between three, four different people. We did get to see that. We actually did get to see some hands connect this time around. And we actually get to see some hair pulling this time around. It was security right there in that exact moment when they was getting ready to fight. That was too, that was a little bit too early, well, too late and a little bit too delayed this time around. So we actually got to, we actually got to see some hands being thrown, some hair being pulled. We saw Two, three fights. Well, two and Aragbar Shakana, she threw a drain. She tried to throw her purse at her or clutch at her, and that was the end of that. But we did get to see two plus, I'm going to say two plus fights. Two and a half fights. So I am happy for that or whatever. Let's go ahead and get on into this mess. Now, Sierra, I told you you was a hypocrite. You always manage to tell on yourself every time. What do you look like giving Ogbar any advice? Yes, Ogbar is a wild card. Yes, I love Ogbar and I ain't gonna and I ain't gonna deny that. I love Ogbar and her crazy. She a little bit too crazy, but she just about well, she just enough sweet for me to love her. Even though she crazy and she like to fight people, even though she knows she shouldn't have fought nobody. When mostly everybody was in that environment was friends and you lucky Tokyo was the only one that jumped on your head. I'm just saying, like all of them was friends. You lucky Tokyo was the only one that hit you upside your head and not everybody else there. And Alexis already said she ain't fit to jump in. And she was already mad at Carly. So if she would have fought somebody, it might have would have been Carly. Other than that, you would have been on your own fighting everybody in uh, Spice Event. Um, Sierra, why are you around here giving um, Ogbar advice? I just want to know that. You was lucky enough to get off for not touching that pregnant woman. You the last person, like I said, every time you try to give somebody else advice about, oh, you shouldn't be fighting. Oh, you shouldn't be doing that. Oh, you can't beat up every woman that come up in your face. Funny how you should say that. When you was when you about to fight that pregnant woman, shoot a baby mama, then you ended up getting some trumped up charges on you, and you was almost about to go to prison to be away from your kids, but you had the audacity in the nerve to be warning somebody else and telling somebody else they shouldn't be fighting, they shouldn't be doing this. Sierra, you is a big old oh, Sierra, you is a hypocrite. Stop! You the last person on this show that I want somebody to be giving somebody else an advice that act too much like you to tell them, oh, you shouldn't be fighting. You can't fight everybody that you got beef with. You shouldn't be going around starting mess. You shouldn't be going around doing that. Sierra, remember, we met you fighting. Just remember that. And we still seeing you fight. So, how are you the one to be giving my girl Ogbar and her crazy advice and you the main one around here fighting everybody since the day we met you on this show? Now, make that make sense. Somebody need to come out there and hit you in your mouth every time you try to talk. Oh, you shouldn't be fighting. Oh, you shouldn't be. Somebody need to come and just knock you across your face for saying that. And you the last person. I respect Carly Red to get this advice. Matter of fact, I respect Rashida to get this advice. Matter of fact, who else? Um... Alexis Scott to give this advice. I would I would respect anybody else other than you to be giving this type of advice out knowing darn well we met you fighting. And you still fighting. Hell, you almost went to prison for fighting. So how you gonna be going around here giving people advice and you the main one around here fighting, little street fighter?
That's all I want to know. You got a whole lot of nerves to be going around here giving anybody advice on what you shouldn't be do doing. You shouldn't be beefing with this one. You shouldn't be doing that. And you the main one around here fighting. And, and, and production, y'all need to drive behind kid. This the time y'all ought to praise her with some alcohol or, um, better yet, splash her in the face with some alcohol or throw something in her face telling her, don't do that. Don't do that. You sound dumb. You sound stupid. Do not go around here giving anybody advice about fighting. And all we have seen you do on camera was fight, was argue, and you about to beat somebody up. That is a big hypocrite with a whole lot of makeup on they don't need on their face. Your face already funny looking, and now you had all this, and they have it all pulled, have makeup all over your face looking like a clown. And then when you cry, you have a line going down your face, and then you supposed to be the spokesperson person. Then you supposed to be the first, the spoke person around here about fighting. Sierra, you're doing too much. Cut it out. Ryan here giving out free legal advice, and you the main one Ryan here fighting, trying to audition for the next fighting um, film, and you the main one Ryan here beating up girls every chance you get. Now, Ogbar, as much as I love you, you and your crazy, you can't be going around here fighting girls. Light skinned Kisha do not have beef with you, beef with you. You have beef with her. Why are you going around here fighting people and a room full and a room full of friends? Like I said, everybody that was in that room was friends with everybody in that room. What do you look like going around starting a fight with light, King, light skin Keisha and you seen Tokyo was her friend? Did you not expect Tokyo to come in and hit you across your head? Exactly what she should have did. That woman wasn't stunning you. She spoke to everybody, talking to everybody up there, enjoying her drink. Here you go running yourself at her, your big self at her, running at her like you a bull in the china shop. And, and Tokyo and Tokyo did the right thing. Bust you aside your head for running up on her friend. Don't nobody want to fight you. That woman said everything she wanted to say when Jock tried to set her up with her arm. Um when she tried, when Jock tried to make y'all do that interview on his radio station and she walked off, that woman don't have nothing or don't want nothing to do with you. Why are you trying to make this woman argue with you? This woman don't want to argue with you. This woman don't want to talk to you. You want to fight this woman for God knows what. Because she says she the queen of Atlanta and now you want to fight. Uh, I can't feel sorry for you this time around because you basically asked for that. You basically asked for everything you got. You first started off with Shekana. I was surprised and shocked that Shekana got tired of you in your mouth and she decided to do something once you threw that drink on her. I was surprised and shocked that Shekana was going to bust a great. Whether she lost or won, I was still respecting Shekana because you've been bothering that woman since, um, since y'all came on the show together about some baby about some man, baby mama and all that. You've been bothering that woman and now it's 2020 and you still harassing this woman. Like, do you want to fight Shekana over a man? Do you want to move on with your life like Shekana doing? Do you feel like Shekana disrespected you? Okay then, well, get over it. Like, Ogbar, you came starting a whole lot of mess you weren't prepared for. Like I said, that could have went a whole lot worse for you than what happened to you. Besides Shekana getting you, Light Skin Keisha, um, Keisha and Tokyo getting you, that could have went a whole lot worse for you. And then Spice came in and she got you because you promised her you was going to be good. And Spice... Go nowhere with that. Oh, I can't go nowhere. Oh, I can't do nothing. It's always drama, drama, drama. I can't do this drama. What the hell you thought you signed up for? Friends and family loving hip hop. 
You never been on this show long enough, Chicago um, Spice, to know better. When you throw an event and it got love and hip hop name on it, you ought to know by now that that event is that event is not gonna go as planned. That's why you see most of them at their events they have security there. So if something happened to go down, the security can um, the security can go ahead and escort you on now and tell you to get out their pro uh, get out their property so they can enjoy their party. That's why you see a lot of people on this show have security there in place ready for people like Ogbar in case they get a little rowdy. Ready to take 10, 20, 30, or 40 security. They got security there to help them get out there, get out their um, get out their space they rent for they can throw their party and continue to have fun without this rowdy um, guest making a mess of their stuff. So I blame you Spice cause you should have known better. You said before the event um happened that you don't know who to invite. This one ain't getting along with this one. This one ain't getting along with this one. This one ain't getting along with that one. So you should have had security there and already prepared, ready for what was going on. Plus, Mona Security, you should have been packed and ready in case something like that went down. Ogbar shouldn't have been in the building. You already done got Shakana outside arguing and hollering. Um, why did you wait after you put your hands on her for security to take her upstairs and let her lead the other way out? I'm wondering why did Shakana stay as, I mean, why did Ogbar stay as long as she did? Cause it was enough for me when she started um going out to Shekinah for no reason over something that's very old and something very tired that we don't know about. But yet she keep on bringing that up every chance she give. Then on top of it, light skin Keisha come in. You should have known there was gonna be a problem there. You should have been telling all oh, boy, okay, it's time for you to go now. I know you don't like this girl. I don't want this at my event. Like you had ways to prevent this from happening. I think you wanted this to happen, but your little fake outrage and, oh my gosh, not at my event, oh my gosh, no, no, not at my event. I think you wanted this to happen and you on the show, I don't know what you was expecting, but you should have known this was going to happen. Like, when have you ever been to an event, uh, when, you, when have you ever been to an event and they filming that an event haven't been fighting, drinks throwing, drinks thro throwing, um, cussing, arguing, stuff being thrown. Like, when have you not been to one of them and stuff like that have happened? Come on, Spice, you've been on this show for, what, three seasons now? You ought to know better by now that you can't throw no event and it's being on TV that you should have known by now that it's not going to happen the way you want it to happen in your event it's going to be some drama. So I don't know what you was expecting. I don't know why you were so surprised and shocked that all this was going down and you didn't been on the show long enough to know better. So I'm lost and I'm confused why you so fake outraged about this going on when you already know this is what you signed up for. And if you was that man, you should have had um, Ogbar out that van when she first started to act crazy with Shakana. If you wanted the drama to go, you should have you should have sent Akbar out. You should have sent Akbar out the second door or the exit, um, whatever. You should have just sent her out the uh, when that went down. You should have sent sent Shakana that way, and you should have been having Akbar go that way to the next exit. And go ahead and escort them to their cars and make sure they're off your make sure they're off the park property where the um party happening at and everything would have been fine and well. But then again, this is not your show. This is their party. I'm pretty sure Mona paid for the party and all the stuff that's in the party. So you really didn't have that type of control anyway. If you really want control over your party, you wouldn't do it on this show. So I don't know why you was fake outraging for. Her. That's what you threw me off. You calling yourself all fake outrage and mad all of a sudden. And, and then you going to jump on, uh, then you going to put your hands on Ogbar too. So I'm not understanding why you so fake outright, outrage Spice. And Spice, I love you. You have grown on me. You the last person on this show that I'd expect to be selling wigs and makeup. 
Because when we first met you, your makeup and your hair has never been on point on this show. Your eyelashes look like spider legs. Spider legs. Your makeup look like a clown. Don't wish you be wearing a mess. So, I wouldn't expect you to be selling no makeup in or no wigs. And you can't even much find a decent wig to wear on your head for the whole entire season. And if your wig, uh, wig, um, thing you plan on throwing, your little wig line you plan on throwing out involves colors like you like to wear all these bright colorful wigs, ain't nobody gonna buy them. Ain't nobody gonna buy them. So, you already then messed up with your little pop-up shop, talking about some wigs and makeup. Your makeup never been on point, and your wigs never been on point. I'll expect Rashida to be doing this. At least I will give Rashida the, the point that at least her wigs, when she do wear her wigs, they be looking good. Her makeup, never disappointing. Like, hell, I'll even give it where I get the wig part to Sierra. The makeup, she look like a clown. I say I give it them. Mm, I was about to say Mimi, then I thought about her disappointments and her wigs. I think I'll pass it on to Mimi. Maybe even Carly Red, cause she do have some good wigs on sometimes, not all the time. Like I'll expect somebody else to have the wig and the makeup line. Not you, Spice. I understand you got an app or a song coming with this, but your wigs and your makeup never been on point enough for me to say, hmm, I want to look like Spice. I want to wear whatever makeup Spice wearing. Oh, she got a wig on. Oh, I like that color. Oh, I want to go buy that wig. No, ain't nobody on this show or nobody watching want any of your wigs or your makeup that you're selling. I'm sorry. Your music might be a hit, but the hair and makeup line is a flop. I'm going to tell you that right now. Pop it on up and pop it on down and close it on up. Because ain't nobody buying your wigs. Ain't nobody buying your makeup. I read about for somebody else that at least can wear a decent wig a whole season. Or at least can wear their makeup looking decent for a whole season. Like I said, I'd rather get Mimi in car. I'd rather get Mimi Wiz and Mimi makeup or other than um massagers. I'm just saying my personal preference. I'd rather trust a Mimi with that other than a uh, you. Cause you never got it right yet. Even with you been on this show the third season, your hair and your makeup have always been a mess and I couldn't see myself wearing it or interested in anybody else wearing it. And if I see somebody around here wearing it, I'll look at them like they are darn fool. I just couldn't and I wouldn't. Um, like I said, I think that was it. Oh, Carly Red, Carly Red. Now, you and Alexis Sky made up when y'all had that talk. Unfortunately for me, I didn't get to see that part because my TV went out on me. And then it reset it on me, so I missed that whole entire scene. So, I didn't get to see what y'all was talking about. Y'all made up during that time when y'all was talking about more whatever. Now, why are you at Spice Event throwing shade, talking about, oh, I don't believe that you, uh, I don't believe that you was a uh, um, human trafficking or you was being human trafficking, throwing shade at this woman left the right light. Yeah, she might have lied about the mo ring and y'all had the same ring on. Yeah, she might have lied about that. But to sit there question somebody else's story about being human trafficking or not being human trafficking, African, that's just messed up and you a dirty low down old bird for that like that was messed up like I was looking for somebody Mimi or somebody to tell you to shut up and Mimi and um Mimi and the um, other person was saying she need to stop that is that woman's story to tell. Not you. Don't add on. Don't subtract nothing. That's that woman's story to tell. Don't be stuck that question and that woman whether she was or not. And she, if she wasn't, let God deal with her. You don't deal with her. Y'all supposed to be cool, but you throwing shots at this woman every chance you got. You lucky she ain't tried to jump on your behind again. Because if I was a Lexus guy, I would have cussed your little old behind out, out that old long wig you had on. I had 
on your head on your head because you needed to be cussed out for that so that the question that woman and that girl story even though i didn't listen to it and i fast forward it i must admit i sure did but that ain't for you to question that woman's story and that woman believed that she was and it happened to her you let that woman have that story you don't go back to y'all and made up and now you calling yourself questioning this woman existence or questioning this woman being 16 years old or whether she was human trafficking or not, or that's when Mo met her or whatever. Like, Carter, you was dead wrong for that. And somebody should have punched you in your old face for that. Punch you all the way in your face for that, miss, because you was dead wrong for that. And then you need to be kicked in the head for that one. But other than that, I think that's all that happened. So, anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. So, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.